Hey guys this is Nishant from technoquick.com well i am back with another video and this time i will tell you some tips and tricks of marshmallow 6.0 on motorola moto g 3rd generation i got the marshmallow update a couple of days back i did a review video of it and now i will let you know some tips and tricks of the same so let's get started after this small intro So the first and one of the most common trick is the easter egg. You most probably would be knowing about it, but if not, then go to settings about and tap the android version multiple times. Now tap this circle again and then hold it. Now you will see this game in which you have to pass this android logo through these small spaces. You can also have a multiplayer option in which you have two or more android logos in the same screen. The second trick is a trick which you will get in almost every Marshmallow phone, switching your external memory to internal. As you know, the Moto G 3rd generation has the memory card slot and now you can turn it into internal. For that, you need to go to settings, then find an option called storage and USB. In that, you will find your SD card. Press it and tap on the three dots on the top. Hit settings and press format as internal. Well, it will format your data, so it is better that you first take a backup. After that, your internal memory will increase accordingly. So with this, you can install apps and any such app data or any other thing which requires internal memory onto your SD card. You may not choose that which app should go to SD card or in internal, but it will be as a whole bunch of your internal storage. As for any app, it will presume that your internal storage is the storage on your phone as well as the storage on your SD card. The third trick is to display the battery percentage on your navigation bar. You may have seen there is an option in a lot of custom rooms to display the battery percentage in the battery icon itself. The same is now available on the Android Marshmallow. Slide the quick access bar from the top and you will see the settings icon. Keep holding it for a while and release it. It will give you a message saying System U8 Tuner is now activated. Scroll down to the bottom and you will see a new option named System U8 Tuner. Now press Understood and toggle the option saying Show Embedded Battery Percentage. It will show you the numerical percentage of the battery in the battery icon in the status bar. Cool, right? The fourth trick is how you can change the volume of your alarm and music in a single click. Previously whenever you used to press the volume buttons, the specific volume used to change like when you are listening to music, only then you can change its volume. But now you have a small arrow when pressed gives you an option for changing the volume for all the three different modes. You can change the volume for the music, for your alarm and also for your normal caller ringing. The fifth trick is to hide the icons in the status bar. Now it may be that you always remain connected to the Wi-Fi and you don't want the Wi-Fi logo to be always there. So you can easily hide it by just a few taps. So assuming that you have enabled System UI Tuner, if not check the second trick, go to System UI Tuner and press status bar. Now in status bar you will see multiple toggles for all the possible icons in the status bar. Toggle off the ones you don't need and bravo. As you can see, I toggled off the Wi-Fi and now I no longer see the Wi-Fi, even though my Wi-Fi is still on. Well, you can do the same for anything you want. There are a bunch of items which you can hide. The last but not the least trick is how you can arrange the icons in the quick settings window. From default, you have do not disturb on first position, sim 1 on second and sim 2 on third. Now suppose you do not use sim2, so here is how you can remove or arrange it. Go to system UI tuner and press quick settings. Now hold the icon you want to arrange or delete. Now let's say you want to delete it. Hold it to the bottom and a trash can will appear. Just drop it there and it will be gone.
and if you want to arrange it just hold it and place it wherever you want now if you want sim2 icon back then just simply press the add icon and select cell 2 well this will work for all the icons you can delete almost every icon and also add it again Well that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you want me to make more of these then do not forget to hit the like button and do subscribe if you want to up your tech game. This is Nishan signing off. Namaste.